Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Bibliophiles, the show from the Ann Arbor District Library that's all about books and puppets. We've taken over. You know who I am, Bobby Lips, and I'm going to let everyone else introduce themselves. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Tebow. Um... Hi, I'm Eunice. I'm a sheep. Hello. Hi, Bobby. Hello. Well, I'm curious to know what books you've all picked out to share with us this time. Okay. Can I go first, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, boy, I love books. This is so much fun to talk about books with you guys. Okay, so... The book, it was hard to pick one book only, but I picked a book called There Was a Party for Langston Hughes, and it's written by awesome author Jason Reynolds, and the pictures are by Jerome Pumphrey and Jarrett Pumphrey. They are brothers. And so the author has written so many good books for kids and teens, but this is his first picture book, and it's essentially a biography all about Langston Hughes. What? It's just about the most fun biography you'll ever read. Okay, so the author got the idea when he saw a picture from 1991 of two poets, Maya Angelou and, and Amiri Baraka, and they were dancing. People had gathered at a library in Harlem to celebrate the grand opening of the Langston Hughes Auditorium and the man himself. And people were dancing. So this book brings that photograph to life and the event back to life in a book. It's really fun to read aloud the toe tapping rhythm along with the zippy snappy bebopping words and hear them dance right off the page. Some of the words on the page are even written so big and wild that they make new words out of the other words. This book it celebrates a lot of cool stuff, but mainly it celebrates word makers, writers, and poets, especially like Sid Hughes. I'm telling you, this one is another knockout from Jason Reynolds. So I really think y'all should go and read there was a party for Langston Hughes and enjoy the words and those pictures. And that's my book. Wow. Applause, applause, applause. Yeah. It was hard for me not to interrupt, but that sounds great. Oh, I'm real proud of you. Eunice, how you doing? Are you ready to share your book, you think, maybe? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I just, I've never been on a Zoom call before, so I'm a little bit, it's new. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm Eunice the Sheep, and I wanted to share a book with you called, well, hold on. Oh. It's called she Sheepology, and it's all about sheep like me. And it's really, uh, if you want a sheep, this is a good book to learn how to sheep. And it's um, Sheep 101. And um, hold on, just looking for predators. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. Um, and it would explain to you a lot about me and other sheep and, and really dispel some myths. Like we're actually, we're very smart and um, we're very busy most of the time really looking out for um, predators you know, like, like a coyote or you, know, you look a little bit, yeah. Or, um, you know, like a uh, bird of prey. And so that's why we kind of stay in flocks. We feel much safer that way. And that's why today I feel a little nervous, but let me see if I can tell you some more about this book. So it tells you about the insides of a sheep and the outsides of a sheep. And if you like fiber arts, you might be interested in that. And uh, cause that's where a lot of wool comes from. And it tells you about uh, cheese that comes from sheep's milk. And it also tells you how important sheep are um, historically, there's something called transhumance where 
you know, we used to kind of migrate with our shepherds. We'd go from one place to another and there are these roads that still exist in Europe. They were like, you know, miles long. Well, and like really wide and, and it's really from the sheep going places and, and towns got built around them. So yeah, so that's kind of important. Um, but mostly like we, we graze in the, in the meadow and we have four stomachs so we don't eat it all right there because really we want to be able to leave the meadow if we need to because, you know, well, predators. And so um, we spend the rest of our time really kind of staying together in a flock and also looking out for predators like like a coyote or a bird of prey or any other kind of scary predator. So that's some of what you can learn from this book. You can also learn about all the kinds of sheep in the world, even some of our ancestors. So that's Sheepology and it is by um, Ilaria De Monte. And if you wanna learn more about sheep, yeah, you should read it. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, yeah, uh, Body. Do you have a book? Well, you had me with four stomachs. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Ayo, that's four. That's a lot of stomachs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must be able to eat a lot of noodles with four stomachs. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't really eat noodles. I just eat huh? crap. Huh? I, I'm not, okay, yeah, yeah, noodles will be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like noodles. Well, yeah. I like noodles. Yeah. yeah. We should lunch and have noodles together. Yeah. Noodles are good. Yeah. yeah. We can well, make some home and give them to you. Niece. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to be quiet now. Go ahead. I want to share the book I picked for this episode. First, I have to let you know this book is about a hero of mine. And I couldn't believe it. I found this book in the trash. The book oh. is <laughs> Keanu Reeves. And let me tell you, it is quite a thriller. Keanu is no less than a hero of the silver screen. And this book illuminates all his many wonderful qualities. Did you know he wrestled? Alice Cooper. He dated Sophia Coppola. He reads Proust. Yeah, Proust. He plays bass. One time, he played a game of street hockey that lasted 10 years. And one co-star has said he has all the necessary attributes of being a star. God's blessing and lips. That's right. That's all he needs to be such a famous star. This book even has fan fiction and tells all about sad Keanu. How one time someone saw a picture of him sitting on a park bench eating a sandwich. So sad. That led to the day June 15th, Cheer Up Keanu Day. This book has so much more, including exhaustive sources and ways to read more about our hero, Keanu. And that's everything about For Your Consideration. Keanu Reeves. Any well, last was, comments? That was wonderful. Um, you know, I, Keanu Reeves, and, and I would say sheep everywhere, probably 10 out of 10 of us agree that he is a national treasure. So thank you for sharing. <laughs> he is indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard his name in a while, so I, I'm grateful you brought him to our chat today. Um, <laughs> Remember he was in that movie about surfing? I just remember that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Point, point break. break. Point, point break. break. Classic. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Indeed. He's outside of water. Yeah. So many important movies of our time. For instance, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. 
Yep. And mm-hmm. he has come a long way. Do you know a critic once said Keanu is fundamentally blank and uninteresting? Oh, <gasps> no way. That's wrong. That's He's right. Cool. And how that critic has been proven wrong. Mm, yeah, I would say. Well, thank you so much for sharing your books on this episode. And we hope to hear from some of our very wonderful viewers about what they're reading. Until next time, happy reading. So long. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.